After more than 3 years since its reveal trailer, this upcoming game is finally back from the dead and I'm so excited for its future. If you've been following the channel for some time now, I think you know about Project Awakening already. I've talked about this game I think in a dozen of videos of upcoming games compilation and gaming news videos. Project Awakening, Beyond Good and Evil 2 and Atomic Heart are the games people want me to give news the most, since we all don't know what's happening with them. Project Awakening was the first one since we only had one thriller and that was in 2017, and man did it look good from the gameplay footage that we've seen. It looked like a gritty, realistic fantasy game as opposed to those that are more on the colorful side of the fantasy genre, for example with Monster Hunter. Project Awakening was confirmed to be a more realistic take on the fantasy genre, with violent and hardcore boss fights that doesn't involve magic of any sort, but brutal swords forged by hand and projectiles slash weapons that were actually made during that time period. Not only that, but the main character will grow muscle or become more agile depending on the kind of armor and weapon he has, giving him different abilities that are given to him organically, not through some sort of leveling system. On top of that, you can also play in single player through the story or with 12 other online players, which already sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'm gonna talk about this kind of details later on into the video, but for now let's talk about everything new that was just revealed. First of all, we saw the new trailer which showcases the City Stuck game engine, used specifically for Project Awakening's open world that will truly test the next-gen limits. You can see it through this new trailer since the quality is really really compressed but the world will be beautiful, something like Horizon Forbidden West beautiful for example. We also learned that the engine is geared toward production efficiency, enabling the efficient creation and editing of terrain on a massive scale, both for close-up views and for distant vistas. The same goes for foliage, so basically nothing will load up in front of you while exploring like trees and things like that for example. It will all feel alive. The engine allows the open world to feel alive in every bit and allows the developers to create different roads, castles, villages, forests in a quick time period which gives them more time to focus on the details that truly matter. Project Awakening was originally announced as a PS4 and PC game, but given it doesn't even have a release date yet and we're in 2021, well it'll probably be releasing on PS5 and PC only. Its world probably won't be able to work on PS4 since it looks pretty detailed. Project Awakening is being developed with the aim of a realistic look, so the engine is being adjusted to further that goal. The original aim was to create the ultimate engine for AAA games, so it's designed to support large-scale development. Currently, a team of about 100 people is working on this project. The developers also mentioned that photorealism is a kind of visual side game the developers has never done before, so they're looking forward to the engine's completion with Project Awakening. When it becomes fully operative, it'll enable the company to develop more realistic games with a focus on lightning that will truly look like real life stuff. The developers intended to focus the game more heavily on action elements, but it will feature role playing elements too. It is expected to feature seamless travel from the world into dungeons and other indoor areas. Project Awakening will also feature an open world with 4-12 player co-op, like I said, or alone if you'd like. 
set in an orthodox high fantasy world. While trying not to give away too much, the Psy Games producer explained how they want the game to focus on players teaming up to fight battles in a world resembling the Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings, with a detailed world full of life and things to do like in The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for example. The game has a large scope that goes beyond just a big world though. Psy Games wants a lot of things for you to do in that world, just like Skyrim. The game also features different classes, outfits, gears and items. There will also be skills in the game but realistically made. Alright guys, that is pretty much all we have right now for Project Awakening. For more gaming news on this game, make sure you support this video and of course subscribe to stay tuned. I'll talk to you all very very soon.